Alright guys, welcome back to uh, my NFL predictions, uh, week four, and three weeks in, this is kind of screwed because literally even the best people are like, I have no idea what's going on, this NFL season has just been fucked. So, yeah. Um, I like doing these videos, they're just different, and I think, yeah, this season has been, three weeks in, it's just been complete madness, It, and I'm pretty sure it's going to keep being madness, but it's just kind of fun to do these predictions. Um... Yeah, so week four, um, assuming I can see it, we start. Let's kick things off with week four, and that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is our Thursday night game, and that is the Dolphins taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. This is going to be interesting because the Dolphins have now um, the, are now three and zero. They're one of the two teams that are still undefeated, and this is going to be interesting because. You have the Dolphins, who played a really damn good game against the Bills, and you have the Bengals, who won their first game. And this is going to be a tough one. This is I, I acknowledge I could be wrong on this one, but I'm going to give this one to Cincinnati for a few factors. There's a few factors of why I'm going to give the edge to, this, uh, to the Bengals. One, this is the Dolphins' short week. They're going from Miami to Cincinnati um, on a short week. So you're going to be tired. You're going to be deal. You know, you're dealing with a lot. They still have a few injuries. The Bengals just got their first win, and they look like they're starting to get their shit together. Not only that, they're going to be playing a home game, and they're going to be hungry to get another win. So I think this is where they start. Where the Bengals start clicking again. This could easily go to the bank. If the Bengals lose here, they're going to, They might be going into Cincinnati Bungle territory. So I'm gonna give this one to the Bengals, but I would not be shocked if the Dolphins go oh and uh, go four and zero. Oh. Um, I am giving for the factors alone. I am giving it to the Bengals though. Next we have the Vikings taking on the Saints. Vikings and Saints. These are two teams that are just disappointing. I once said the Vikings are the most one of the in, most improved teams in the in the season, and then I watched that Eagles game where they just got ass raped. Um. <laughs> uh. And they somehow pulled off a win against the Lions. They completely screwed that over. Saints are also damaged to all hell. I don't think they're going to make it to the playoffs this year again. I Jameis, Win Jameis Winston is bec slowly becoming famous Jameis with his Apple turnovers. Um, I don't know. Like this is a t this could flop either way because defensively the Saints are a nightmare to play. Defensively the Saints are just a nightmare, and Kirk Cousins is still Kirk Cousins. On the other hand. I'm going to give this slightly to the Saints because I just think that D-line is just... The C, the Saints' defense is just brutal. It is just completely brutal. So And Kirk Cousins is just going to Kirk Cousins himself. Moving on now to a, what is actually might be an interesting game. The Seattle Seahawks taking on the Detroit Lions. Um, Seahawks... You've been exposed. Remember when you thought in week one you were hot shit? Like, you all thought you were saying, Geno Smith for MVP. <laughs> I even knew in that first week, I was like, you guys are going to suck. You just, you're just mad about Russ leaving you. But you guys are just, you don't even know. And these past few weeks have proven it. <laughs> oh. I do, however, think the Saints' defense is what's carrying this team to a few wins. It ain't Geno Smith. Um, the Lions, however, have made an, had another loss, but I think I am going to give this to the Lions again on the grounds of I think that offense is just going to give that is just brutal. I do think that Saints' offense is is brutal, and Jared Goff is kind of like Carson Wentz in the sense that he could have a really good game or a really bad game. I think that he's good. He's due for a good game. But this is one of those t games where it could easily flop either way. Like it's one of those kind of games where it could easily like flip flop into um, to one game or the other. Next up, we have the uh, New York Jets taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is another garbage ass game because the the Jets I have no absolutely no faith in, and the Steelers you guys are literally getting the tanks ready for a tank uh, for for tanking. It's it's rebuild time, Saints. Your offensive line is garbage. Your defense is nothing without TJ Watt. You are, for lack of a better word, garbage. 
You are just, and your uh, offensive play calling is straight up ass. Honestly, I think you should take it. Like, honestly, I think this is the game where they take out Mitch Trubisky and put in Kenny Pickett on the sole ground of it's the Jets. Like, that's really it, is that the Jets are, are, are a punching bag on a hole. So I really do think that um, this is the game where we see Kenny Pickett, at least maybe in the first, in maybe in one quarter or the second half at the very least. But yeah, this is the game I think they're going to test drive Kenny Pickett and maybe make him the starter. We'll see. Like, that's the thing. Like, that was the thing with Tua, where they used the Jets game to switch out Ryan Fitzpatrick for Tua. So it could be the same situation here. Feel proud, Jets. You guys are, you know, feel proud, Jets. You guys, you guys are, you guys are making careers. You guys should feel proud on that. Not as a team, though. So I'm gonna give this one to the Steelers. Next up, we have the since uh, the uh, Chicago almost said Cincinnati, the Chicago Bears taking on the New York Giants. Giants just had their first loss um, to the Cowboys, and the Bears somehow are two and one. I don't even know. And it's literally this team is dragging Justin Fields to a win, and it's already looking bad for Justin Fields. And the same can be said for Danny Derp. You know, Daniel Jones is not that guy. Neither is Justin Fields. It's starting to look like Justin Fields is not that guy either. So, this team is... God, it's... It, this is a coin flip. Uh, this is one of those games where it's a coin flip as to who's gonna suck less. That's really what it comes down to, is just a literal coin flip of who is gonna suck ass more. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna give this one to the Giants on the grounds of, I think... The Bears are just not good, and I don't know how they how they derp their they drunkenly stumble into wins. Um, next up, we have a AFC South rivalry game between the Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts. Colts got their first win, so they're one one one, one victory, one loss, one one tie. Titans, we also got, uh, Titans also got their first win. <sighs> For not of lack of trying, we we almost tried to throw away that game. What the fuck? Colts won against the Chiefs. Chiefs literally hurt themselves, and the Colts just took advantage of that. I am... I'm going to give this one to the Titans, but I, I, as a team, as a leader. You know, as a, not leader, but like, as a, you know, as a fan. But I have a bad feeling about this game. Anyway, moving on now to the Chargers and Texans. Chargers embarrass themselves to Jacksonville. Jacksonville of all teams and Texans are the Texans that's all I can say they're, they're, the, te they're the Texans I'm going to give this one to the Chargers though even though yeah last time I gave it to the Chargers against the Jaguars they kind of lost but if you lose to the Texans like I understand that like Justin Fields is still recovering so I gave it a pass but if you lose to the Texans there's it's panic time LA it's, it's time to panic Next up, we got the Browns and the Falcons. Browns pulled off a win against the Steelers, and the Falcons somehow also pulled off a win. I think we all know how this game is going to go. The Falcons are going to do a, have a great game and then choke it away to the Browns. I hate to say it, but I'm going to give this one to the Browns. Next up, we have the Washington Commanders taking on the Cowboys. Cowboy, um, there is a rumor that this is the game where Dak Prescott comes back, but who knows? Maybe he'll be injured and Cooper Rush will take over because Jerry Jones is a horrible piece of shit. I'm going to give this one to the Cowboys because I think that defense is what's carrying them, and that offense is wonky, though. And Carson Wentz is going to Carson Wentz. That's all I'm going to say. Next is actually what I think is going to be a fascinating game, the Jaguars taking on the Eagles. The Jaguars have won... Or two and one, which is honestly a shock in of itself. This is the, everyone has been this happy in Jacksonville since 2018 with Saxonville, and the Eagles are three and zero. Oh. These two teams have shown improvement a lot. I am going to give this one to Philadelphia, but I would, uh, but um, on the grounds of I think they are ju like Jalen Hurts is clicking, and that offense when it go when it's clicking with Hurts, they become dangerous. But I think Jacksonville might give them some fits. Next up, ooh, this is going to be a fun game because we have the 
Baltimore Ravens taking on the Bills. <laughs> Baltimore, not only are you going to be cha- taking on uh, Buffalo Bill, you're also going to be taking on pissed off Josh Allen. <laughs> because they were mad about that loss. Both, this is going to be a slugfest. I do think, and this is a hard one to tell because these two teams are good. The Bills are still recovering from some injuries, and Baltimore looks like they're going to be savage. This is a tough one. Honestly, this is a real tough one to really give a call for because this could go either way. I'm going to give it slightly to Buffalo because I think they're going to be just completely ang- They're just going to be like, uh, Josh Allen's going to be like, Josh Allen smash um, to, the Bal- to Baltimore. And I don't trust the Ravens secondary at all. Next, we have the Cardinals taking on the Panthers. Panthers got their first win. Cardinals, I do not trust at all. This team, these two, these are both teams that are pretty sus. You may as well call a uh, meeting on both of them. Um, this, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to, what to say about either the uh, Colts or uh, the Panthers. I am going to give this one... To, I think I'm going to give this one... Someone's telling me my gut's going with the Panthers. I think with Kishra McCaffrey still healthy, they're just going to just run right over Kyler Murray and his tiny little legs. But this is another one that could flip either way. Next up, we have the Broncos and the Raiders. Two teams that just are awful. They are just complete... Remember when we all thought, even myself thought, that the AFC West was going to be a slugfest? <laughs> what a laugh we had on that. Looking back on that, oh, God. Um, Raiders, the only 0-3 team, and the Broncos, Nathaniel Hackett needs to be fired like yesterday. That the, that team, that team That Sunday night game was god-awful. I don't know how they won, really. I still don't know how they won. And it's just literally going to be the ga- a tale of two really bad coaches. That's really what it comes down to, is a game between two really god-awful co- coaches. That's all I can say. That's all I can really fucking say about this. This is this is just going to be ass. This game is just going to be straight ass because of how bad Josh McDaniel and Nathaniel Hackett are at fucking coaching. And it sucks, too, because there's so much... It's it's so... In, in, it, it's so, like... In, it's so in, 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 infuriating... Because there's so much talent on both teams that's getting wasted for both. I don't know who to go for here. I, this is a coin flip, but I'm going to give this slightly to the Broncos. Just slightly. Anyway, moving on to the Patriots and the Packers. Patriots, you just lost Mac Jones and three other members of your team. I think there's still some other tem- uh, teammates that are uh, wounded as well. This is going to, and Packers are, their defense and their special teams are on fire. I can't believe that's a sentence there. They are doing really good. Man, Las Vegas, you sh- maybe you should have kept Joe, um, Rich Passaccia as your head coach instead of a snake who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah. Pack, I'm going to give this one to the Packers. This is going, I think this might be a bloodbath. Like, there's a part, like, the Patriots might give the, uh, like, the Patriots defense might give them some uh, some fit, Aaron Rodgers some fits but the uh, but the Packers I'm giving this one they are on they are I think they're starting to get their groove now after that that win against Tom Brady they are probably hitting their stride now and they're going to be a dangerous team now any and then eventually lose in the playoffs just how it goes <laughs> Next, speaking of Tom Brady, let's move on to our Sunday night game, which is the Chiefs and the Buccaneers. First off, I don't know where the hell this game is going to play. It's not. It, is it going to be in Miami? Is it going to be in Minnesota? We don't know because there's a fucking hurricane coming our way. So, and that might destroy Raymond James Stadium. I don't know. Like, it, all I know is right now is this storm's going to be bad, and it, if you're in Tampa, get the fuck out. Um. Depending on where this game is played, I am going to give... Like, the thing is, is like, Tampa's D-line is dangerous, and they're going to have Mike, uh, Mike Evans back. This is going to be dangerous, but I'm going to give this one to the Chiefs. On the gr- I'm going to give this one... Yeah, I'm going to give this one to the Chiefs. They are starting to, like the Packers, They're start- even though they just had a loss because they shot themselves in the foot in uh, the Colts game... 
I do think that the Chiefs are starting to hit their stride, and they're going to be dangerous. They are now going to be very dangerous uh, to play now. Finally, we have our last ga- our Monday night game with the Rams taking on the 49ers. This is like trying to fit, like remember we also thought the NFC the NFC West was also going to be a slugfest. Oh, what a laugh we all had at that. I'm going to give this one to the I'm going to give this one to the 49ers. I don't trust the Rams. I really don't. They they are sus. They they may be the leader of the division right now, but I there's something about it that just feels sus about them. Anyway, so for all 10 people who watch these, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.